Good evening everybody. Basically tonight, I'm just going to quickly go through how simple and what a great value fish finder, what Bear Creeks are doing at this present time. Uh, it's called the new BC201. It's their new coloured fish finder, what they do, what is plug and play. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up outside the boat and you can only imagine how easy it is to fit in here. Compared to the fish finder, what I'll be honest with you, in my Cartmate Pro, what you've probably seen the videos of having the Raymarine Dragon Pro 5 fitted, it was a very lengthy, long process of modifications to the actual boat itself. And uh, obviously Bear Creeks, they do their own fish finders to fit into their boats and other companies or other types of boats as well. Uh, well, I'll go through a list of everything it does. I mean, this fish finder itself has a three and a half inch uh, LCD uh, script monitor, uh, 480, 320 pixels. Uh, it's coloured, uh, it displays the water and temperature, the depth, the voltage of the boat, and the colour and sound. Uh, the good thing about this, I can't, cannot believe the range this thing has 800 metres. I mean, there's no way in the world you could see your boat at that. I mean, this is how powerful this little fish finder is. It also does depths up to 80 meters. Uh, the temperature range is basically minus 20 to 70 degrees. So there's, this will cover all types of fishing altogether. I mean, this fish finder alone will fit into most boats, what Bear Creeks make, i.e. the scamcher, the eye catcher, the knack tick, if I have pronounced that correctly, the eye catch mini, carp mate, nav mate, wave runner mark three, atten, shuttle, the sport, colt ranger, the list goes on and on. Uh, I mean, other, other boats there as well, like the wave jet. This thing does most of 99% of the boats out in the market. Right, so this little demonstration is going to be showing you how simple this is to connect and, and use. You know, the boat is so simple to fit in most boats. This little device here was the old sonar. Uh, plug it. This will fit into most boats there. You've obviously got your temperature um, little prongs there as well. Your little control. This is the brains of the unit, and this is going to be the demonstration of how to put this together. Right? So plug in the brains of the unit to the fish sonar itself. Very simple. The power supply, what comes with it. They also have other power supplies and other accessories here as well. I mean, obviously, depending on how you're fitting this into your boat, you may want it on a switch, or if you want it directly fed straight off the batteries, or however you want to, it's very simple to do. I'm going to cheat here by uh, obviously just using one of my LiPo batteries to connect this all together. Bear with me two seconds. And obviously, like I say, you shouldn't be doing it like this, but this is just for demonstration purposes only. What's great with these, they don't come with cheap batteries. They come with the LG batteries for the fish finder, uh, and you get two of them. So the battery life on this is fantastic and very simple. I've unscrewed the cover underneath just to speed up the video. Push your battery in. Connections, let me show you. Connections are literally there. You can't go wrong. So LG facing down. Put it in. You've got a switch at the back of the boat to turn it on and off. Then you have your other power supply cable for the monitor. But you literally plug in and twist all the way up. They do supply two aerials because we all know we break our aerials. No matter how careful we are, we always snap them. Okay, so let's be there and let's tighten that up. Plug in the power to your monitor like so. Let's just tidy that up. Bit of a tackle tart myself. Right, to turn it on, it couldn't be no simpler. Press the power button. You have a red LED light, which you can see there on there. So that shows that your batteries are connected properly. To turn the fish finder on, you can't be no, let me just move this for you so you can actually see it. And this does tilt in different angles, so you can have it any which way you want. Right. 
Let me take off the screen protector. So you just hold the power button and it will come on. Oh, that's my fault. Let me just tighten that up. There you go. And obviously you're not going to see anything in detail here. Honestly, my, my kids could operate this. It's so simple. Right, so you've got a zoom function. So you can zoom in if you see a spot. Okay, and you can turn it the opposite way as well on the uh, fish finder. So you can have it upside down if you want. Uh, like I say, the menu, so, so simple. You've got your sensitivity, your depth range, you can set to as much as you like. You can have an auto if you like. I'm not going to run it on auto at the moment because it's just on the table and it's not going to find anything. So let, let's just go to nine foot. You can set your depth uh, upper limit, your lower limit as well, your fish symbols on and off, and obviously you can have your cursor on or off on there as well. Uh, backlight comes up, so you can have it really bright. You can have the volume high, medium, low. Like I say, it's kids play, honestly. You can have it meters and Celsius. Uh, you can have it in feet and Celsius. The chart speed you can slow down if you want if your boat's a little bit on the slower side and you want a bit more of a I wouldn't say more accurate but you just want to see what's going across the screen a little bit slowly uh, you can have the fish alarm on or off uh, let's stick that on depth of alarm oh god sorry my fault I'm trying to film it and watch this the depth of the alarm on and off uh, to, so you can set it so if you know your lakes uh, three foot or four foot or you know there's a hole out there and the lake itself is only four foot but there's a there's a little hole that you're trying to find and you know it's around the five foot mark you can set it it is plug and play you can say say where the boat is if it's sitting under the water how far so you're getting a more of an accurate reading on it uh this background you can have white and can have white, blue, grey, I prefer the blue myself. Surface clarity, so obviously if you want to see less clutter, depending on the lake and the uh, basically the lake conditions that you're fishing, you may want to change that. Uh, noise, or obviously seeing how much clutter you're getting as well. So if you're getting too much feedback, you can, you can slow that down and stop all that. And when I say by clutter, let me just come out of here. So if you're seeing a load of clutter at the top here, that's because you need to change your settings. It is honestly that simple to set it up. Let's have a look. It's that simple. So if you're fitting this in your boat, that's my fault, I'm gonna tighten that up. Try and cut corners to do a quick video. Right, let's get that. Oh, bear with me. Right, so it's that simple to do. Like I say to you, this will connect to the aerial. Obviously, you may have a spare hole in your boat. If not, you can drill up a little hole. This comes off. You've got a little brass washer and a couple of little, um, sorry, nut there and a couple of washers. So obviously you can pinch that. You may need them or you may not, depending on the thickness of your boat. Uh, it's that simple to set up, honestly. I mean, like I say to you, for my, Fish finder I installed, my God, there, Bear Creeks fish finder, for the price of only, I think it's 350 pound in this country, delivered. Uh, this was only sent out to me, I do believe it was on Tuesday. Two days later, shipped straight from Germany, straight here, deep, uh, with a signed delivery, a tech service, everything you expect from a good company, Customer service for Bear Creeks, my God. I've dealt with a lot of fishing companies in my time, but they far, and I'm not just saying this now, but they by far are the best I've had to deal with. You know, it is that simple. In the bottom of your boats, you will normally have a blanking plate like this. Uh, what you then would unscrew 
and there one will come out and you fit this in and you have to do this up not too tight because you you'll break uh, you'll break the actual plastic but you have to make sure that's nice and tight because obviously that way you won't get any water in there anyone who's looking at getting a fish finder oh that's my fault I've moved the battery uh, let me turn it off yeah, for anyone who's looking to fit a fish finder themselves and don't want to spend ridiculous amounts of money, uh, I know with the Cartmate Pro, you, there, there are other ways around this. I mean, you can possibly connect this, i.e. like I've done, I've changed it over to the, I think the XT60s connections, so I could plug this straight into the fish finder and not even have it on the switch there are so many different variations you can install this in the boat from being really complicated to keeping it really simple uh, yes there you go there's the Bear Creeks uh, BC201 uh, for 350 pounds I think is actually for the type of fish finder that is and the options that you've got on there and the simplicity to install this in your boat yourself hands down to them they've done a cracking job but just bear in mind i mean bear creeks everyone will be thinking just it's just about bait boats it's not go on their website they have got a uh, bearcreeks.co.uk so it's all in english and even bearcreeks.com uh, if you press the menu you can change it from german to english they sell all parts for basically their boats are the same as the Rave Runner so if you're struggling with customer service with Rave Runner or you need parts, engine, components, spare aerial, batteries or you're looking at upgrading to i.e. you've got the shuttle and you've just got the standard kit uh, and you want GPS on your boat they do the motherboard and the handset cheaper than what Rave Runner do the customer service is fantastic. Yet again, it's a simple plug and play. Uh, you take out the other motherboard, you put in the new motherboard, job done. You know, they now sell in uh, power packs, uh, their actual power supplies, their bivy lights, cart porters, uh, barrows, bags, bite alarms, bivvies. They are selling everything now. Uh, and credit to the company. It's definitely a company to keep an eye out for. And to be fair with you, one of the best companies I've had to deal with. All right, so there's my little video. It's as simple as that. Literally, let me go through it one more time. Go through it one more time for people, just to make life a little bit easier. So I'm gonna start off on the boat side of things, okay? We'll leave the batteries in for the time being. And it's my fault, I haven't got to put the battery cover on. For, for the boat, aerial, you can fit somewhere to your aerial, to, to, your, to your boat, normally at the back of the boat, depending on what boat you've got. Uh, that's the brains of the unit. You literally have the power, power supply cable here. You literally plug it straight in. You can't be any more simpler than that. Then that will go to your battery or to your boat, however you want to do this. I know a few boats, they do have the DC adapters uh, in the actual boat so you can wire that to a DC and just have it a DC adapter is basically a male and a female version of this socket here so you can just some boats you can plug it straight in with that socket uh, you literally connect unscrew the bolt the bolt as I call it or, or yeah the nut uh, plastic nut and take it out of your boat push this through do it up tight, not do not over tighten it, but it has to be a good seal. You know, uh, some people would suggest sealing it with some sealing. Or, you know what, if you ever need it to take it out, it will be a pain to take out. Just make sure this is done up, this is watertight. Uh, then you obviously connect that to your power supply and that's your fish finder in your boat done. That That's the boat. That is all the boat taken care of. Okay, very simple to do it yourself. Yet again, two batteries in, put the cover on, do up the screw. Then all you need to do is get your two pin, I'll call it a two pin adapter into the back of the screen, do it up nice and tight. Plug in the power to there, plug in your air or twist your air wheel on. I'll pop 
quite a jar, so I'm trying to keep it in the shot of the film here. There you go, that's the aerial. Battery on, turn it on, light comes up. Set the fish finder, hold the power button on. There you go. And as simple as that. What a great little unit. And these batteries, I do believe, have a bloody good battery life on there. So you don't need to keep charging it up. It also does come with a USB socket on this side here. So obviously once you're not fishing and you need to charge this from your power bank or if you've got uh, I don't know, any power bank these days with a, I think that's a C port, will go straight into there, job done. So that's the Bear Creeks BC201. Plug and play for most of your boats out in the market. Let me just tell you some more information on that. All right, let me just tell you a bit more. So I told you it will go in most of the boats uh, out in the market. It's three and a half inch colored LCD uh, screen with a very good picture on there. A very strong, basically the brightness of that unit, brightness of that unit in the sun, I can tell by the brightness in this dark room, you still go and be able to see that. Uh, the depth of it, 80 meters, 800 meter range, spare aerial as well, and they do keep all the spares on their websites. So if you break anything, if anything ever packs up, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get another sonar, another board. Uh, you'll be able to get spares from this company. Uh, their, their response times are fantastic. Uh, the, it's basically, how can I say? It will find structure, it will find weeds, it will find where the fish are, it will show the bottom of the lake and basically the contours of the lake and how hard or soft if you're fishing on silt and that. I mean, obviously you can't really see that right now. Okay, and that's because I haven't actually got the fish finder installed. Okay, connected to the battery. Turn it off. As simple as that. So there you go, there's my honest review of this fish finder. Like I say, yes, there may be some other fish finders on the market what are a lot, uh, how can I say, a lot more money and maybe a better fish finder, but I honestly think for this self enthusiastic sort of bloke who wants to tinker with his boat and install these or even have it professionally fitted, it's up to you, for £350, I rather have this than other fish finders out in the market at the moment. I've, I've seen a lot of fish finders over the time. I've watched a lot of videos. I've seen this fish finder in action and I highly recommend it. So there you go. Look, any problems at all or any issues or you just want to talk and ask me a few questions, just leave a comment on my YouTube video uh, or contact Bear Creeks Direct. Like I say, customer service is fantastic. Um, there you go. Thank you for